Hello friends. Today we're going to get ready for our photosynthesis test by going over the Kahoot for photosynthesis. Let's get started. Question number one. Photosynthesis uses sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into, well this is the basis of photosynthesis. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water makes glucose and oxygen. Why might the candle in jar A burn longer than the candle in jar B? Well, jar A has a plant in it, okay? That plant's making two things through photosynthesis. It's making sugar and it's making oxygen, which will allow that, that uh, candle to burn longer. Which of the following is not true about ATP? Well, let's learn what is true about ATP. ATP is a adenosine triphosphate. So we have the adenosine, we have the ribose, and we have the three phosphates. So when you read the question, you know what ATP is, and you can, then you'll be able to answer what it isn't. Uh, what happens during photosynthesis? Again, just like the same question. Well, the first question. What happens during photosynthesis? Well, we know we have autotrophs, and plants are autotrophs. And again, they take in sunshine, carbon dioxide and water and turn it into uh, glucose and they turn it into oxygen. Plants gather the sun's energy using a molecule called, okay, the molecule is called chlor, a chlorophyll and it's a pigment and it's found in the thylakoid membrane inside the chloroplast. Where is the chloroplast? Where in the chloroplast is the chlorophyll found? I just gave you that answer. The chlorophyll is found in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast. What are photosystems one and two? Where, where are photosystems one and two found? I'll tell you that answer. Again, they're found in the membrane of the thylakoid, which is inside the chloroplast. The Calvin cycle, well, when you look inside of the chloroplast, you see thylakoids and some fluid. That fluid is the stroma. The Calvin cycle takes place in the stroma. So we increase the intensity of light that a plant receives. What happens? Well, we all know that photosynthesis depends on light. If we increase the light, photosynthesis will increase to a certain point, and then it will level out. Look at the figure. All the fallings are parts of an ADP molecule except Remember, ADP only has three phosphates. ATP has three phosphates. What are the three parts of ATP molecule? Well, adenosine, um, ribose, and three phosphates. The Calvin cycle is another name for the light independent. You don't need light to do the Calvin cycle. So when you're in the stroma, the light dependent part is in the thylakoid where the, where the um, Sunshine and the water go into the thylakoid. How is energy released from ATP? Well, when you have ATP, you have three phosphates. You just take one away and boom, you have energy. Which of the following organisms is heterotroph? Remember, autotrophs make their own food. Heterotrophs have to go out and get food to eat. Okay, so they might eat plants, they might eat uh, meat. Uh, but heterotrophs need to find something to eat. Autotrophs, like plants, can make their own food. Organisms such as plants that make their own food, I gave you that answer, autotrophs. What structure represents a single thylakoid? Well, you see these poker chips uh, stacked up, and it's just one of these poker chips that represents a thylakoid. Many plants appear green because chlorophyll, well, the plants absorb all the colors of the rainbow, but they reflect they reflect green. That's why the plants look green. Photosynthesis. Now, there's some repeats on this Kahoot, so don't let that throw you. Okay, it's just a way of reinforcing you uh, questions to get you ready for the test. Photosynthesis uses sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide, again, to glucose and oxygen. The stroma, well, that's the region outside the thylakoid in the chloroplast. Plants get the energy they need for photosynthesis by absorbing the energy comes from the sun. Where in the chloroplast is chlorophyll found? Again, another repeat question. Um, the chlorophyll is found in the thylakoid membrane 
of the uh, chloroplast. What's the function of NADP in photosynthesis? Well, it's an electron carrier, as you see over here, right? We have the NADPH go into Calvin cycle, and when it comes back over to the thylakoid, it's NADP positive. What do the light dependent, where, where do the light dependent reactions take place? The light dependent reactions take place in the thylakoids. What are the products of the light dependent reaction? Well, that's good. You get oxygen, okay? That is the product, and you also get the energy, the ATP and the NADPH. Which of the falling activities happens within the stroma? Well, in the stroma, you get the Calvin cycle. That's where the carbon dioxide is hooking up with the energy from the thylakoid. Why are electron carriers needed for transporting electrons? The reason is high energy electrons are very reactive. Which chemical shown in the diagram is an electron carrier molecule? Well, that could be NADP positive. Which of the following is not a step in the light dependent reaction? Well, the light dependent reaction is just light and water making oxygen and energy. If it's anything other than that, it's not part of the light dependent. Where are photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 found? Well, again, this is a repeat question. They're found in, this, in the membrane of the thylakoid. Which pathway represents a flow of electrons during photosynthesis? I'm going to show you the answer to this question. Okay. Well, first of all, Water going into photosystem 1 and then going into photosystem 2 can't be right because photosystem 2 comes before photosystem 1. Um, photosystem 1 to the Calvin cycle, and then ATP, oxygen, well, oxygen is a product. The answer is water goes into the electron carrier and then goes into the Calvin cycle. Guys, I hope this helps you. It's a review. Uh, if you need any help, please see Mr. Ryan at any time. Thank you.